Hello, my name is Brian Shanker, Program Coordinator at Gulf Coast Ultrasound Institute. Today's hot tip of the day is locating the vertebral artery and demonstrating flow direction using color Doppler. So the first step to demonstrating the vertebral artery is being able to identify the common carotid artery. I like to place the transducer in the transverse plane on the neck at about the level of the thyroid. As you see here, we have the trachea, we have the midlobe of the thyroid, the internal jugular vein, and in between those is the common carotid artery. Next step is to elongate the common carotid artery and transition into the sagittal plane or the longitudinal plane. Now transition the probe so that you angle the beam posteriorly down in through the vertebrae. And as you transition posteriorly, you see one vertebrae here, one vertebrae here, vertebral artery and vertebral vein. The vertebral artery courses in between the transverse foramina of the cervical spine. Once you have located the vertebral artery, now you want to evaluate for flow direction. We'll do this by activating our color Doppler, moving the color box over the vertebral artery. Now you identify the color of the vertebral artery as indicated here by red. And your scale shows here that red is moving away from the transducer towards the head. So now to validate that flow is going in the appropriate direction, you want to angle your sound beam back up into the common carotid artery. Now, reposition your color box into the common carotid artery, and you'll notice that the color is the same in the common carotid artery as it was in the vertebral artery. So this indicates anti-grade flow or flow flowing towards the head. This is an example of normal flow. If the vertebral artery were blue, then flow in the CCA and the bulb were red, this would indicate retrograde flow and would suggest a subclavian steel. Once again, I'm angling posteriorly through the transverse foramina, just to double check into the cervical spine. And again, you see a transverse foramina, you see cervical spine on both sides as the vertebral artery courses through. And again, we angle anteriorly back towards the common carotid artery. Move our color box over the common carotid artery to show that the colors are in fact the same, thus showing that anti-grade flow or forward flow towards the brain. And that's your hot tip for the day. Now you give it a try.